What the frick is this sub? A sucking dong of chance? What's the use of just uploading other dudes and worshipping them? Pathetic. Find a dope or just keep creaming over Chan. Everyone on the sub worships chance and then gets mad that girls do the same. Yeah, no, we're all kind of just wondering for an explanation, but we all know it's just going to be incoherent screaming. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash incel tier, and if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing and show your support, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, start a wholesome internet discussion, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel. Let's go! It's over. You will never be able to highlight our mech due to your subhuman face. Yep, that's right. If you don't think you are attractive enough, you will not physically be able to apply makeup to your face. Explain that logic. It's over. I blamed women for losing my phone today. Being incel is really starting to get to my head. I sleep with my laptop and my phone in my bed because when I wake up, I want to be able to go online ASAP. I turn a lot in my sleep though, so when I do wake up in my bed, it's usually a huge mess. Just an hour ago, I woke up and couldn't find my phone. I knew it's in my bed, but I just couldn't find it. My first thought was, frick women, look what they've done, before realizing it's not really their fault. This is what Inseldom does to you, and who's forcing you to stick around? Seriously, the majority of these situations could just be solved by, I probably shouldn't have done that. Seriously, nobody's keeping you here. Seriously thinking about transmaxing and becoming a thespian. I'm a rycel and have accepted that I will never get a girl because of my face and body. I have zero manly features, my face is very feminine, and I have a body of a girl with zero muscles, and I'm short as well. No one would know I'm a man if I transmax, and when I transmax, I would become a thespian, of course, so I could get a good looking girl. I would also learn makeup and skincare and all that. Would this work? I would get rid of my little shrimp as well. This is the only option I see as a rice cell. Ah, let this be the discussion. You think this is a good idea? You think this would work? Eh, no. I'm pretty certain it just don't flip like a switch. Why does my sister's boyfriend look worse than me, yet he has a boyfriend? I just don't get it. I mug him so hard. Maybe my sister just has bad tastes. And no, I'm not after my sister. It's just funny that someone who looks like him can get a girlfriend, but I can't. Edit girlfriend in the title, not boyfriend. Mine is too occupied food coping. He's probably packing OP. Sorry that this is the way you had to find out. Okay, but why is this an issue to you? We are more diverse than IT. Then why do you guys keep on using the same meme template? Height and the future of mankind. In the distant future, when we begin to further explore our universe, surely a shorter, smaller crew members will be far more efficient. Think about it. Taller people need more space, larger suits, more oxygen. Heart has to work harder for blood flow. Important if you're on a celestial object with higher local gravity. More food, higher chance of cancer. Think exposure to radiation. They weigh more, so we must account for that with more propellant, thus more expensive. As well as this, people grow even taller in space zero gravity. With women selecting incredibly tall males, they are shooting humanity in the foot. Spice male is rise up. In the current state of humanity, there is literally no advantages of being tall, except to please queens. You no longer need to hunt or do stuff like that, so it's basically just for the show. If you use Reddit, then chances are you're soy to a degree. If you use Reddit and browse IT, then chances are you're soy and a pedo. Normal people don't know what incels are, let alone care about them. Do you honestly think the average girl cares about us enough to post on IT just for laughs? IT is filled with incels in denial, soys, pedos, sigmas, etc. Brutal realization for fellow college cells. I'm 18, KHHV, 6 foot but a literal lanklet at 120 pounds, never been in a relationship. The only time I get messages from girls is during the school year, and 10 times out of 10, they ask for something extra 
academic related. I'm taking a gap year because of the pandemic and going to college next year. I'm freaking out because if I don't get into a relationship or find a girl, let alone get my dong wet one time during these four years of college, I'm probably going to remain KHHV until the end. I'm not going to belittle myself and settle for less than I deserve. Uh, by that I mean I'm not going to have intercourse uh, with a 300 pound mammoth. I know it's still possible to date after college, but most girls are going to be in a relationship by then, and the only girls left are going to be even fatter Amy Schumers. This is scary, man. I don't want to be a virgin to the grave. Edit, I'm also a rice cell over. Okay, what in the world is KHHV? But yeah, at the same time, go right ahead and say you're not going to belittle yourself, but you're going to belittle other people by calling them 300 pound mammoths. But you know, the second somebody says something like, oh, you're 120 pounds and six feet tall. Oh, right. Here's a gust of wind. You get knocked over. You explode. Don't dish anything out that you're not prepared to take. Hello, well, but everyone tells males that personality is the most important thing to get a relationship. How is it that these emotionally and physically abusive mice are getting relationships while I'm incel? Could it be that they're tall, white, and good-looking chads? Could it be that females are lying hypocrites? Welp, time for you to get back on Tinder and get abused by the next chad, I guess. Or fix your mythical personality detector or something. What? What's the fix? If they dodged you, it's perfectly working. A girl messaged me on Tinder. I thought, what a surprise. Open the profile, it turns out she's fat. Unmatch. I deserve my looks match. Keep your standards high, bro cells. Never settle. All women are Thesians theory. Women feeling attracted to men is a social construct that men have tried their hardest to actually make a real thing. Women are naturally attracted to women, not men. Any attraction felt towards men is a product of social conditioning. This is why they only want Chad and men will freak anything with a Gucci. It's a sad truth, but I believe all the natural attraction in humans is towards women. Uh, so let me get this straight. If she don't like you, it's because she doesn't swing that way? Yeah, perfect. Mm, yeah, you get the Nobel Prize. Why has my mom married a simp? So my dad has been chasing my mom for four or five years before they got married. Thing is, we could normally assume that she was tired of having her own fun and turned back to my simping dad once she wanted to settle down and abuse of him and his money, right? Well, my dad was my mom's first ever opposite socks experience, and no, my mom was not into girls. She was considered to be a good-looking woman and was often pursued. She was, however, never interested but decided to give my dad a chance because, in her own words, he had many qualities, the main one being that he was an open-minded and he presented himself to be and wasn't only pretending to be that to impress girls. P.S. My dad was a 5 foot 8 inch very average looking guy and wasn't rich at all while my mom was considered to be very beautiful and able to pursue any man she wanted. Any black pill explanation as to why? Uh, you care to explain how this is any of your business in the first place? And seriously, what about this is so upsetting to you? Watching my blue pill friend on Tinder is so sad. He kept hinting at low-key getting one and I tried to tease him out of it each time because he's a sensitive dude. Well, he hits me up later saying he's already got one, acting all giggly and stuff. I'm just like, oh, here we go. He's been on for two weeks. I've watched the slow downfall. He's not just getting low matches, he's getting none. He got left on red for his only two. First, he was like, maybe they just haven't swiped me yet. There's a lot of people to go through. And then he was like, maybe I gotta change my picks. They got bad lighting and cropping, bro. I just kept telling him in terms of I hope he'll understand. Bro, you're expecting too much. There's a lot of competition on these apps, man. It's like Robin Hood, but dating. And just sadly waiting for when he finally realizes the real reason he gets no matches. I'm sad, bros. I wish I could just black pill people easily, but I don't have the heart for it. Just a little pro tip. Never take Tinder seriously. And seriously, if you pay for Tinder, why?
If all the things normies consider a right, like food, water, and shelter are, then socks should also be one. It's the only purpose of life. If you're not entitled to socks, you're not entitled to anything. You can live in the woods, lick rain droplets, and eat grass. This is the equivalent of normies saying you're not entitled to socks. In fact, I would rather be homeless and freaking a woman every day than be wage clucking in suburbia and incel for life. Stop it. Get some help. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you would like to be ever so amazing and show your support for everything that's been going on with the channel, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.